Halo 2 takes place directly after the events of Halo Combat Wall and the destruction of the One Ring. We are introduced to a new character, which is currently standing trial for having too much drip. Val Vadami is his name, and he tries to argue his case against the old test years, but they won't listen. And they're all like, only we can have that much drip. So they sentence him to a public shaming, and the monkeys are like, hey, come with us, sir. And Val Vadami responds with, get your hands off me, you dirty peasant. Val Vadami is then seen walking down the road of shame, while all the aliens are screaming in unison, shame, shame, shame. He's then chained up and electrocuted like it's some sort of BDSM dungeon or something like that. The Tartar Sauce is all like, Man, rip his clothes off. I want him naked. After the monkeys are done ripping off all his clothes, Tartar Sauce brings out the branding iron and he puts it to Fel's chest, branding him like some goddamn cow. In the next scene, you're reintroduced to the big green guy from Halo 1, better known as the Master Chief, but this time he got a brand new suit. While the Master Chief is testing out his new armor, Sergeant Johnson comes out of nowhere and he's all like, Man, Master Chief, I like your drip. Come with me. He then leads you in front of a crowd and a bunch of cameras because apparently you just look that good. Then you talk to this old man. Lord Hood, your diaper's almost full. I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. And then Cortana is all like, Thanks for getting me that cheeseburger, Master Chief. However, before you can present your latest fashion to the world, an alert goes off and it's all like, Wee, wee, wee. It's the goddamn Covenant, and they want revenge for Halo 1. Then Master Chief is all like, I need a weapon. Right this way. Just like the Pillar of Autumn from Halo 1, the Covenant are sending in small strikes teams and you have to fuck your way through them all, until you reach this point. what is your status? Over. I don't believe it! They're retreating! We won! Yeah, this is kinda bad. The Covenant have brought a bomb on board the station, and it's your job to find it as quickly as possible. You then keep blasting your way through the level until you finally reach the end, and it's revealed that the bomb is a... A giant cone shell? Um, okay. Moving on. Now, because the Master Chief is such a nice guy, he decides that he will deliver the bomb back to the Covenant. You're then treated to one of the most badass scenes in all of the Halo games ever. Just one question. What if you miss? I won't. Gear up. We're taking this fight to the surface. In the next mission, you're down at Earth with a mission to assassinate one of the old Testy heirs on board the supercarrier. But before you can get there, you're cut off by this giant metal gear looking thing, and you're promptly shot down. After narrowly surviving the crash, you had to fight your way through the city until you reach the warlock. Then you gotta drive through the underground tunnel and stop these stupid Covenant buses before they can pick up the Covenant children. After destroying the school buses of the Covenant, you meet up with Johnson again, and he gives you a tank so you can drive across the bridge and blow up everything in your path. Then suddenly Bungie is all like, hey, fun is over, and you get to this stupid wall and you have to get out. You then get into another warthog with a driver that might be worse than Metal Arm from Halo Reach. After teaching him how to drive, you finally reach the rendezvous point, which is this giant building. Then the Metal Gear comes out of nowhere and blows the tank up. Now it is up to you to take it down. You then jump on top of it like a complete badass, killing everything inside and blowing it up, while the music is just blasting in your ears all like, Man, this scene is epic. A 
At this point, Old Testiers realize that this is a losing battle, so he's all like, I I'm out. But Amanda Keys, that is the daughter of Captain Keys, the Flood King from Halo 1. It's like, no way you're getting away from me, testy head. So she speeds after him, breaking all the traffic rules under the sun, and they barely manage to catch the portal before it closes. Then the slip space rapture is all like, <laughs> killing everyone. Now we're back with Fal Vetemi, and the monkeys are transporting him back to the old test years. Uh, as it turns out, your trip wasn't all that special. There's like a million other elites with the exact same outfit in our army. As an apology for stripping you naked and branding you, we are giving you the suit of the after. If you destroy the heretic, that is. I mean, chocolate ice cream is the best flavor of them all. As you can tell, we can't have this type of slander in our covenant. What do you say, Fell? Does this helmet make me look fat? Now you play as the Arbiter and you are tasked with hunting down the heretic leader. You chase this guy around for what feels like 16 hours until you finally corner him. And suddenly, Free for Free Industries comes out of nowhere. And the Arbiter is like, Free for Free Industries? How did you survive Halo 1? Blood armor, baby. Then the heretic leader starts blasting, but he doesn't know who the hell he's messing with, so you instantly kill him. I'll be honest, I don't think you had to kill him, Mega Man. <laughs> then Tarasauce comes out of nowhere and he kidnaps Free for Free Industries. Man, this entire thing is a whole mess, isn't it? Afterwards, you're back with the Master Chief, and you have found another Halo. Oh, is that why they call it Halo 2? Because there's two Halos now. Yeah, whatever you say, kid. The Master Chief and the gang gets into the drop pods, and they shoot onto the Halo ring, and they start messing around on Halo 1 like the good old days. After shooting your way through like a million aliens, you finally reach this lift, and you have to take it across the lake. After like 16 years, you finally make it across the lake, and then you have to take an elevator under the sea. Under the sea. I'm not gonna sing the song, fuck that. But it's very beautiful though, so hey. Then you finally make it to the end where you beat the crap out of the old dude in the wheelchair. <laughs> oh my but the Covenant really liked that guy, so they start glassing the entire place, and you get knocked out and fall into the sea, where this random tentacle grabs you and drags you under the sea. I watched enough hentai to see where this is going. Now you're back with the Arbiter once again, and because the elites failed to protect the old guy in the wheelchair, the monkeys are being put in charge of protecting them. Hey, give me that! No, it's mine! You then walk in on a meeting between an old test and Hotjaw, who's very upset about the hack exchange. You can't just take away our drip like that. Uh, drip comes and goes, Commander, but friendship is forever. Hotjaw and his goons then wander off all pissed off because they didn't get their way with the drip. You then speak with the old test and they explain they are going to turn on the Halo and destroy all the mint chocolate ice cream in the galaxy, or something like that. But before they can do that, they require the Happy Meal toy from Halo 1. So obviously, you as the Arbiter is going back to Halo. You're now back on Halo once again, but there's like a billion flood here and you gotta fight your way through them all. And after like a billion years, you finally reach the elevator, but Halfjaw is all like, nah man, I'm not going with you bro. That shit is boring as fuck. So he leaves you. But during, during that adrenaline filled ride, you finally reach the end. And that is where you see Amanda Keys trying to grab the Happy Meal toy bowl by herself. She nearly falls in if it wasn't because of Johnson. Then the Arbiter jumps out of nowhere and starts beating the crap out of them because he really wanted that toy. And Johnson is all like, I like your cut G. And just when you're about to grab the Happy Meal toy, Tarasaw shows up out of nowhere and he steals it from you. The Happy Meal toy is mine now, Arbiter. Goodbye. No. Then the Arbiter dies. Or did he? In the next scene, you wake up as the Master Chief once again. And you're faced with What the fuck is that? Hey, the Arbiter is here too. This is the Grave Mind, the true Flood King. And he explains that the Halos won't only wipe out the mint chocolate ice creams, but all the ice cream's flavors. But there is still time to stop it. You only need to steal back the Happy Meal toy. So the Grave Mind is all like, Y'all got that? Good. Go get me that toy now. Then the Grave Mind somehow managed to teleport the Master Chief into the newsroom of the Covenant, and Old Test Ears is all like, No, he's trying to turn off the Breaking Benjamin music. You then fight your way through the Covenant capital, and there's like a civil war going on, and the Flood shows up as well, and they're kind of taking over the place. Then the Flood tries to kill the old test years, but the monkeys are there to protect them. Never mind. They kinda suck. Yeah, they do. And the leader of the old test years is all like, Leave him, Tarasas. We don't have time to deal with that one popcorn. Then the Master Chief shows up like 10 seconds later. Hey, you need help with that? Oops. Sorry. After like 5 years of straight fighting, you finally manage to get through the capital, and you reach this laser beam, and Cortana is all like, I gotta stay behind, Master Chief. We need dramatic tension for Halo 3. Say no more. Then the Master Chief jumps into the laser beam, and he rides it until he reaches the big alien ship, and he barely makes it before departure. 
Since the Master Chief couldn't get his hand on a Happy Meal toy, it's all up to the Arbiter. However, it's revealed that the monkeys have betrayed the elites, but you aren't going to take that type of disrespect, so you rise up against them. After killing like a billion monkeys, you meet up with an old friend again. Hey, it's Halfjaw. Damn those testy ears. They tricked us. Mint chocolate ice cream is kinda good. Also, I want my drip back. Don't worry, man. We'll get it back. Then you and Halfjaw mount a counterattack on the monkeys, killing them all in your way. Until you reach this point where Sergeant Johnson takes control of the big metal gear. Aight, Arbiter. Listen up, we need to work together. Mr. Donkey Kong is going to turn on the halos, and it's going to wipe out all the ice cream flavors. And I don't want to live in a world without ice cream. Uh, sure man, you got the big gun after all. I'll follow you. Then you and Johnson team up and you fly over to the control room of Halo. Tartar Sauce, stop. Arbiter? How? This is impossible! Look, Tartar Sauce, I'm one of the main characters. Obviously, I wasn't going to die. But more importantly, have you ever tasted mint chocolate ice cream? It is actually kind of good. Tell them, 343 Industries. No, quiet, you! Let the creator of Halo speak, Mr. Monkey. Mint chocolate ice cream is just as good as any other ice cream flavor. It might even be better than the others. Do not turn on Halo. But my life is a lie! You see, Arbiter, it is my destiny too, to turn on the Halos. And why about all the mint chocolate in the world? You then have this epic final duel with tartar sauce. Oh, never mind. That was easy. Then a mad keys does some epic jumps and grabs the Happy Meal toy, but not before the ring managed to fire off some fancy fireworks. It does absolutely nothing. Then 343 Industries explains that there's like seven different halos and one big mommy halo that makes more halos. You gotta deal with that in Halo 3. Anyway, in the next scene, you're back at Earth with the Master Chief. And Lord Hood's about to blow you to smithereens, but you're like, no, stop. The Lord Hood is all like, Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Hello there and thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, comment and perhaps consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm. Anyway, if you want to watch more of my videos, click the card on the screen right now. As always, this has been your friend Nobunaga, signing out.